Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Talk Navigator and this is a weekly market forecast for the week of June 13, 2021. Last week, the uh, consumer credit gain lit by the auto leasing. People are buying more car job uh, opening hit a record high. Consumer price index also gaining momentum in May. Consumer sentiment also rebound in June. That helped the market stay in the uptrend. So the technology talk still remain some of the most liquid and a profitable stock available today for now. So now let's take a look on the chart of the major index so that we can see what they are doing and we're looking for some stock to trade. So first of all, look at the Imini SB500, the chart is still uh, uh, in the uptrend as you can see here, they continue to put it up to the upside. The NASDAQ is also pretty strong and they try to get back retail the all time high right now and the uh, uh, Russell 2000 also tried to gain momentum, uh, find a way to break out the all-time high. The Dow is to have a little bit trouble uh, to go higher, so they uh, pull back the last couple of days and then they do in a sideways correction right now. And if you look at the uh, uh, volatility index, as you can see it right now, they are in extremely uh, low level uh, before pandemic, so that's uh, good for the market. So the people are not worried. So uh, as you can see that the 10-year uh, uh, treasury note, they are still putting down. So as long as they're still going down, that will, uh, we don't have to worry much about the inflation and the uh, uh, technology stock be able to have a chance to continue to go higher. Okay, and if you look at the uh, uh, cool oil, the oil is still in high demand, they continue to put it up every day right there and go it uh, after they hit the sales on here. So they pull back a little bit uh, sideways correction before they can find another breakout and move higher. And if you look at the uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is still uh, up and down here, it's still a choppy here. Uh, they try to find some support here, but the overall trend is still in the barrel, not bullish yet. And uh, Ethereum is uh, weaker after the breakdown here and it continues to the downside. So the Bitcoin do take a while here for them to build a way before they can turn around. So we are not hurry to jump in yet. And if you look at the uh, sector right now, at the, uh, uh, the three sector that we should look at, it, that the XLK is uh, uh, very strong technology talk to continue to the upside. The XLE, the energy, it also put it back up pull back, but overall then it's still bullish. The financial sector, they are in the correction right now, so we will stay away for a little bit. And the uh, 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 healthcare sector is still uh, very strong there. They hit the resistance, they pull back, but overall then it's still bullish. And uh, you, they are the sector that we should focus for this week. And as you know that uh, trading is a risky business. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. If you don't know technical analysis, then you should not trade. That's why as stock navigators, we will help you to learn and understand how to read the price action on the chart by using a modern technical analysis and understand the crowd psychology combined with the pattern recognition and money management so that you can trade with the high probability of winning. But we understand it's hard for you to know everything overnight so we will mentor and support you every night until you are successful and we will guide you in our live trading room every morning so that you can follow along and you can ask and see how price action in real time. This is the only way that you can manage your own financial future. This is the time for you to wake up and invest in your education so that you can survive and make money in this volatile market. I will continue to update during the middle of the week so make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel so I can notify you on a new update. Now let's go deep inside this sector so that we can look for some talk to trade for next week. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the XLK, which is a technology sector. So you see a lot of fan talk in this sector are still doing well, like Apple is still uh, finding support and continue to go higher. Adobe is extremely strong for last week, they continue to break it high and move to the higher. And Amazon is also another stock is to sideways, but they found a support and continue to put it upside. Google is also trying to make it all time high there. Microsoft is also pretty strong and put it up to the upside again. And uh, if you look at the 
uh, one of the technology that including the semiconductor, semiconductor it's very strong here, and then they uh, sideways here, but they had gained some momentum to cut the deal to the upside at the high demand in the ch uh, semiconductor and, and chip. So that's why it, uh, it, they do a strong sector right now. And if you look at a couple of stocks in this sector like um, uh, NVIDIA, okay, it's still uh, very strong to the upside. And uh, M -X -I -M, Maxim is still uh, very strong there. And the uh, ADI, that's the advanced, uh, uh, ADI, that's another one, that's the analog device. It's still very strong there. They break out and continue to move up. And uh, AS, uh, ML, uh, that's another uh, semiconductor that's still strong there. And uh, the energy sector, it still uh, uh, put it up. But the last week, they pulled back down a little bit. They are still in high demand right now. So a couple of stock in the energy sector is still uh, strong at the uh, PDE. It's still strong there. Uh, at Chevron, it's still hang tight there. And Axel Mobile, they hit some resistance. They pulled back a little bit, but overall trend is still bullet. And uh, if you look at another sector, it's XLV, which is the healthcare sector, it's still uh, very strong there. Okay, they hit the all-time high, they pull back a little bit, and a couple of stocks in this sector are still doing well, like uh, Edward Life Science. Okay, they break out and continue to the upside. AMGN, uh, Amgen, uh, is still doing well, and they find a way up there. And the uh, uh, BMY, uh, they try to uh, break out and, uh, and the all-time high here also. Okay, so, um, and there's a couple more stocks uh, that on the retail sector also doing well. As you can see here, the sector is still very strong, and a couple of stocks like SIE. Okay, so the people go now, look like they buy more jewelry right now, so this stock is trying to get up and to get a strong momentum on Friday. And a couple of uh, stocks that uh, support that the uh, the people buy more car, buy more house, so uh, a lot of uh, online document uh, uh, software still doing well, like DocuSign, it's very strong there. And a couple of talk about back for the sport, like football, it's still very strong. And a couple of talk here in Upchat, advertising, it's still doing well here. Okay, so. Uh, this is some of the stock that I have for you this week. Beside this stock, if you are busy working, you can surprise, uh, surprise to our uh, Wall Street Premium Watchlist, where we handpick about five stock every week, and we will analyze in detail with the entry stop loss and target so that you can follow. Uh, I hope that you enjoy my analysis. Please click the thumb up, like button, or any suggestion. Please let me know on the comment below. Again, thank you for watching. Good luck in your trading. I will see you during the week and take care everyone.